In this problem, we're going to solve the following differential equation. x squared, y double prime, minus 2y equals 0. This differential equation is known as a Cauchy-Euler differential equation. The reason is all of the powers of x match the order of the derivative. So here, the power is 2, and then here, the order of the derivative is 2. Here, you can think of it as x to the 0, and you can think of y as being the 0 with derivative. So this is a Cauchy-Euler differential equation. Some people memorize formulas to do these. I do, but I do it a little bit differently. I like to start by letting y be equal to x to a power. And we know our solutions should have this form. So then you take the derivative. So then y prime, you just put the m in the front, you use the power rule. Then you subtract 1, so x to the m minus 1. Then you take the derivative again, so y double prime. So you put the m minus 1 in the front, so m minus 1, m, x to the m minus 2. So you start with this always, take the derivatives, and then just plug them in. So we have x squared, then y double prime, that'll be m minus 1 times m x to the m minus 2, minus 2, x to the m, and that's equal to 0. Okay, we should be able to combine some like terms. x squared times x to the m minus 2, we can add the exponents. So this will be m minus 1 times m times x to the m minus 2, x to the m, and that's equal to 0. All right, so now we can factor out x to the m. So x to the m, then we have m minus 1 times m, minus 2, and that's equal to 0. If x is not 0, you can just divide by x. So we end up with m squared, distributing the m, minus m, minus 2 equals 0. So this should factor. Let's try it. So m m. We need two numbers that multiply to negative 2 and add to negative 1. I think negative 2 and 1 should do the job. Yep. So we get two possible answers. We get m equals 2 and m equals negative 1. But we said that y was x to the m. So whenever you have distinct real roots, the solution to the Cauchy-Euler differential equation looks like this. c1 x to the m1 plus c2 x to the m2. So we can think of this as m1 and we can think of this as m2. So in this case we have distinct real roots. So the final answer would be c1 times x squared plus c2 times x to the negative 1. And that would be the solution to the differential equation. So quick recap, whenever you have a Cauchy-Euler, start by letting y be x to the m, take the derivatives, plug them in, simplify, you'll get some type of equation. In this case, we have distinct real roots. So the formula for distinct real roots is this one. And then all we do is we plug in the numbers, and that's it. It's pretty easy. I hope that made sense.